before our next run. You saw our next runner in the opener of this event with his amazing run of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now join me in welcoming back Jag's Red Panda as he takes on Ol uh, Olimar's Shipwreck Tale in Pikmin 4. Take it away, Jags. Afternoon or evening by here. Uh, my name is Jags, known for greatest hits such as running into lava in Breath of the Wild and uh, dying to Grunty in Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, here to uh, play Pikmin 4 and throw a purple Pikmin. You can see I have a... I can't take a hundred into this run with me. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to kick into it because i got a little bit of loading to do and then I'll overview this run a bit. Uh, so, if we're ready on the timer, it'll be three, two, one, go. So, Pikmin 4, which came out this year, fantastic game. Um has a little side mode in there, very handy little side mode, called Olimar's Shipwreck Tale, which essentially retails Pikmin 1, uh, but much quicker. Uh, and from a speedrun pers perspective, there's no tutorial stuff, so it's incredibly quick, because it assumes you know the game already, so we can get straight into it as soon as the loading happens. Um, so I've got 30 bits of my ship to get, and I need to get them as quick as possible. And with me, probably not helping with the ship parts, but helping with commentary, is uh, Rick again. Hello again, everybody. Good to be back again. Yep, although I didn't give him a cheat sheet for this run, so uh, a bit different. <laughs> so yes, first thing we need to do is I need to grow a great number of Pikmin. Why is he going that way? I'm not going to say that's never happened before. I, I'm bored of saying it. <laughs> So first thing I need to do is grow a great number of Pikmin. Um, so in other Pikmin games, you're allowed to have 100 straight off the bat. Uh, this game, you're not, you don't have the same luxury. Uh, we have to collect these little, what they call frolic things. And that'll take us up to the maximum count. Let's make sure my dudes get flowered here. Uh, so we start off by being allowed a maximum of 20. And my first one's over there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bait this guy into wanting to attack me. And then make sure I can count. So this run, very frantic, because I want to get as much done as quickly as possible. You can clear every single run in one day. But uh, for this particular route, which I learned this morning, just to panic the admins, um, uh, we actually split this one section into two. So this guy actually aggro's on me. So, yep, okay. He's not going to kill those dudes. I just need to bait these guys out of the way. So I'm going to go up to the top of the map. The other thing this game does, which the other games never had, was this separate loading spaces where your ship can be. So I'm going to head up to this little side area where the uh, ship can go. And because I collected the uh, Frolic, I can now take out 10 more Pikmin. And the, the, the other nice thing this game did is to get other onions. You don't just trigger them like you do in other games. We actually have to collect them. So up here, I'm going to collect the yellow onion. And whilst I wait for that to happen, I'm going to bully this guy. Quite the uh, beefy lad, this one. And he can actually kill the smaller ones like that. So I'm going to try and get him to do the work for me. I got one of them, that's alright. Hey, you see the other parts making his way over. And now I need to grow some yellow Pikmin. So the AI is quite smart in this game comparative to other games. So if I move stuff close to where the onion is, they'll automatically pick it up. So what I want to do there is I want to move the... Uh, oh, that one's going to get smooshed, didn't he? Oh, no. So there's one little part up here I want to grab.
I just need to balance out my pigment a bit. So I need to grow a good number of yellows for the next area. So what I'm going to do here is... That's not what I want to do to do. I need to get five and five on there. There we go. I can also skip the... Uh, there's not so many cutscenes in this, luckily. So I'm going to get those Pikmin moving by there. And in standard play, you would want to grow as few Pikmin as possible. And I think in the normal speedrun for this game, you only ever have like 40 at a time. But this game so is so reliant on you having a great deal of Pikmin that we actually want to grow a good number and this first day specifically is about growing as many Pikmin as possible. <coughs> and the other thing I want to collect is a lot of bomb rocks, which are just available on the map. Need to... Using my mad gamer skills to uh, mash buttons. Real skills. Headset's cut out. That's not ideal. Yeah, I should be okay. Doing that, dude. I think we're able to hear things now. Excuse me, sorry, OBS has uh, decided to devil me. Very sorry, two seconds.
All right, everybody, thank you so much for your patience. Hey, it's the nature of live events. And we take this opportunity now to talk with you regarding the awesome donations you're bringing in. And some of those are, we have a $30 donation from our own JD Puppy. And he says, it was such a blast being your host. Let's get that Sonic Frontiers incentive met. And a <laughs> funny number, I could have put this to the Cusa Grande bid war, but I didn't. I'm a good boy, right? Right? Thank you so much, JD, for that awesome donation. We also have a $40 donation from Brosentia that is putting JD into the spotlight for the participant bid war in the Cusa Grande Gauntlet. Brosentia says, gotta keep the Cusa Grande Gauntlet bid war spicy. Thank you so much, Brosentia, for that awesome donation as well. And let's give you a couple of quick don uh, updates on the bid wars that we have for that Cuso Grande gauntlet that currently sits at. We've got Shockwave still in the lead at $225 in second place is JD at $132 and in third place is Oasis. So everybody, I want to give you a little bit of info about who we are working with here. They are amazing team members of the Fastest Fur community, but of the five individuals that you can choose from, we've got JD Puppy. He is the host coordinator here. We've got Shockwave, the tech lead. We've also got Sarth, the web development lead. Rotom is the graphic design and UI lead. And Oasis is the chat mod lead and games committee head. So for that, those are your options. And if you want to see Sarth or Rotom in, get your donations in so you can be sure to see them on the big stage. Only two will move on. The others will be commentary for the run itself. So again, if you're looking to donate, just go under the stream right here on Twitch. There are several options for you to pick from. You've got the awesome logo of Fastest Furs, and underneath that, you've got the Fastest Furs Fall Fest 2023 horizontal, uh, I guess loco we'll call it, fall colors. Can't miss it. Click that. That will open up the donation page for you. They also have a link with the text donate right next to it. And if you go all the way down to the credits, you'll see a QR code that you can scan or click to be able to go to the donation page. Once you are there, go ahead and enter your information. No donation is too small nor too large. Put in a message and no message is fine too, because sometimes you say it best when you say nothing at all. Select the incentive hit your options and go from there all right with that everybody i am told that we are ready to roll back so please let's welcome back jagsy red panda as they continue their pikmin 4 all armors crash uh, crash shell run uh, run on um, thank you yep. excellent i'm back that's good news yep. uh, excellent i'm back, back. right that's good news. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Right. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Uh, so we're in area two Three, two, one, uh, go. Uh, so we're in area two I now. After I'm too, too quick and the game wasn't happy about it. Is my current theory. I have no evidence for this, but I choose to believe it. Uh, so area two. Two seconds. Fix that one. Fix that one. <laughs> it's bound to happen to be one event or another. So I need to go over and uh, right get our dog friend, okay. who's looking very uh, sad right now, poor thing. I'm not show it's okay. Uh, I can't. I'm not going to show it because it's slow to show the cutscene, but we give him a, a scrubby bone and that cheers him well up. Uh, I sounded the most British I've ever sounded. So we're going to abandon some Pikmin for a second. I promise they'll be useful in a bit. Yeah. 
So I broke that fence a bit. <coughs> it looks a bit weird, but there is a good reason. So that fence up there is going to conceal the blue onion, which I'm going to need. Meanwhile, I'm going to just team up immediately and do some multitasking. And I'm going to grab those Pikmin by there. So up here, Olimar's going to this way. First of all, I've got to be like that because I'm trying to uh, kill those blue things cause it to re-extinguish, but basically what I need to do Welcome back, everybody, to Fastest First Fall Fest 2023 Twitch chat. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. And the question is, what is the toughest part of streaming at large? And sometimes, you know, it is the audio. We really appreciate your patience as we continue to get everything all worked out. And this is a great time just to give you a good reason as to why we are all here. 2023 is raising money all weekend long for Trans Lifeline. In addition to their peer support hotline, Trans Lifeline also directly supports trans individuals in need through their micro grant program. The program provides direct financial assistance to those who need to correct names or gender markers and identifying legal documents to receive gender affirming hair removal treatment or to receive basic necessities during and after incarceration. For more information, please visit www.translifeline.org forward slash microgrants. Okay, you want to come back in? quick little intermission we are ready to roll so everybody please welcome back jagsy red panda as we continue all of his journey in pikmin 4. yep so we're nearly done with the windows issues i'm sure so three two one off we go again so i'm gonna take this little fire break up here and get the next onion Make sure they're actually picking up. I knew they went. I knew they were betraying me. Meanwhile, Moss can take this down here with a very careful throw. Don't drop it. Couldn't wait to drop that then. I mean, it's probably hard to be fair. Dropping better than my connection, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, so I need to very carefully remove those guys. A, that when that cutscene plays, uh, it stops mass from charging, can be, which can be a big problem. So I need this other frolic there. And I'm going to head on over to this area. <laughs> where there's another one of these little uh, ship landing zones. So first of all, I need to make sure everyone's available. And then when I call them, They'll uh, climb down, and I need to split these guys up again. They haven't been together very long. I'm going to go over here. Split up. I'm reminded of uh, Bandu 2 when I say split up like that. Put that back there. And we've got the nice go here function, which is something that is a hangover from Pikmin 3, which is very useful for uh, multitasking. And I can split up and go up against the first kind of area boss. Take particularly long. But when this dude uh, dies, he drops all those bug things and they freak out moss. Uh, so I need to stay away from that for just a little bit. Well, I'm going to grab Olimar, split up again, so I'm going to head over here with these five Pikmin. Jesus. 
Yeah, run against the rock for. <coughs> so the main thing about this area is I want to grab as many of the uh, rocks as possible. Ooh, I can use them down there. And that'll let me get all these parts around here. Meanwhile, Olimar's going to go grab another part. So the important thing here is very much uh, resource management between these two and the limited number of Pikmin. Uh, so before, Pikmin 3 is probably my best example because I used to run that. Uh, you'd have 100 Pikmin, so you could split up like, you know, 40 being somewhere and 60 being another. Because I've only got a limited number of Pikmin, I've only got these 50. Splitting the two, the captain and the dog up to do specific parts is really important. Like managing exactly how many they have, because obviously you don't want to lose too many of the uh, Pikmin. In fact, there's another rock up here. Which I shall grab. Get the head. I'm going to activate this actually because I've got a bit of time. <laughs> and I can head around. There's only a small amount of parts left here. I'm going to attempt to kill this one with a bomb rock. There we go. And then I need this orange butterfly to lock on. Uh, so this is Spicy Spray. Uh, it makes all my Pikmin go quick, which is nice. But the much more important effect is is that it flowers all my Pikmin. So A, they get a speed boost from being Spicy Sprayed. But they also get a speed boost from uh, being flowered. Which is very handy because I need them back as quick as possible to start off getting the next uh, bit of equipment. Is there a lot of bolts. I feel like if you ship fell apart though, that would kind of make sense. I can't imagine the entire ship only has one gear on it. I need to get rid of that wall. Meanwhile, I'm gonna grow some more blues because the next area is a water level. And I should have the ability to take out 60 Pikmin there as well. Let's get this moving. They're going to bark at it because I'm very angry at it. I did get it. Yes, I did. Making sure I got the ice rock before I uh, clear this area off. Uh, so that was the second area. I can just end as soon as the uh, part is ready. And if we got any messages from the host while well, I uh, reload the next area. Absolutely. For the first time ever, we are offering a grand prize to donors during Fall Fest 2023. Anyone who donates $50 or more over the course of the marathon will be eligible to win a Nintendo Switch OLED console and a copy of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This prize bundle was funded through direct contributions of members of Team Fastest Furs leadership, uh, leadership Team. Use the command exclamation point prizes in the chat for more details on all of our amazing prizes. And remember, trans rights are human rights. So the next area, Area 3, Serene Shores, I think my favorite area. I really like the design of this area. Um, there's a lot of water. It also has a unique mechanic in that the level will... Uh, the tide will go out halfway through the day. Uh, which means timing stuff can be a little tricky because there's some parts where I actually want it to be high tide and some parts which are quicker when it's low tide. In an ideal world, you'd get it all done before the tide even goes out, but we should be okay for the most part. I want to dodge that very big frog. Quite the uh, large lad. Seeing as how we're in a water world, it's a good uh, time to remind people to stay hydrated. I'm going to have a sippy myself. Oh yes. Nothing quite says Saturday night like drinking orange squash. How did you guess? 
<laughs> uh, so, the nice thing about this Pikmin game is Moss's charge is very overpowered, especially because it gets it inherits from any upgrades you give to Ochi in the main game. So, the quickest way to run this game is to basically completely finish the uh, main Pikmin 4 story. Uh, you have to do every single rescue uh, to get OT's infinite charge, which you need for this run. The only thing that is a problem in this game compared to other games is that it, what it really wants to do is it wants to stop you from overloading items. So you can target an item up until you finish loading it up. Once you finish loading it up, you can't give it any more. It just doesn't want to know. So you have to like throw stuff and kind of hope they latch on. And here's the uh, final boss. He's not ready, oh. but... I actually don't like them on the throne, but they I didn't take that much of his health off, but that should be okay. When do you come back? So uh, that was the final boss of Pikmin 1. As you can tell, it's very difficult. And how much he can carry depends on how buffed up he is. So in Olimar's Shipwreck Tale, every time you pick up a ship part, it gives the dog another buff, or it gives you an item. So you'll see through the course of the run, I'll get, I'll have like bomb rocks. Excellent. Uh, I'll have stuff like bomb rocks. I'll have the lightning strikes. That all comes from getting ship parts, which means I get these items for free. A little bit of multitasking. Uh, those piles of raw material are used for building things. So like building this climbing wall is all done with building materials. Um, there's a couple of different things that get built with them, but there's one thing right at the end of the game that takes 20. So I need to make sure my count is quite high going into that. And just some little resource manager, making sure the right Pikmin grab the uh, parts. I need to... You can press X to just, like, grab the... Uh, what's the recommended number? But obviously the recommended number is going to be different to what I want, because I want nothing but blues. So I need to go do some water exploring. So there, it was like... It was like, do you really want to grab more? Oh, I didn't get another spicy effect. Fair enough. Must have missed it by the frog. So I'm gonna run up here and activate this. Whoop. I'm gonna run past it actually. So you see the shores up here right now, so anytime I grab an item is gonna have to be um, I'm going to have to very carefully manage which Pikmin grab onto. So I've only got four blues right now. So I'm hoping the tide will go down here. I'd love to know where my spicy spray went. It's one of those, I'll watch the replay and see if I actually picked it up. So I don't think I did. Spirit. Oh, there he goes. Yep, so the tide's out now. 
I think I only have 14 Pikmin. I need to run and grab one more. I just hear the Pikmin die somewhere. So just randomly attacking that guy. I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly uh, take a little run over here to pick up this part. The nice thing about the uh, force count is that you know when it stops throwing that you've got the right number of Pikmin on it, so it should start moving. And up here, another neat little mechanic is that if I use an Ice Blast Rock, it'll completely freeze this water. And it'll also freeze any enemies in it. So all I have to do is charge him twice, and that's him dealt with. They're all going to grab that. Good. And my other part should be on its way over. Here it is. So I'm going to take a quick little detour up this uh, little sand castle because I want to grab one more spicy spray. You see the enemies in the background actually don't move. It's very weird. I don't particularly care. I don't need as many Pikmin as I have, but the game really wants you to save them if you lose any. It's very determined that uh, you should go back and make sure you get them. <coughs> but, you know, 9 out of the 10, losing 3 Pikmin when you've got like 500. I don't care. Uh, so now I need to go back to the first level. Um, so originally the way the route would work is you'd go through each level one at a time, so you get all the parts in some speckled terrace in one shot and then all the other ones and you'd finish on the eleventh day. But it was found it's actually quicker to come back to Sun Speckled Terrace because you can do some part of it significantly quicker when you have like eighty Pikmin. Because normally you'd only have forty, so you have to be really careful. Uh you need to be really careful how you uh manage all your uh Pikmin and what the tasks they're doing. Whereas when you have so many Pikmin, you kind of just throw as many as you like at it. Now take out this guy. Unfortunately, this also means we have a little bit of RNG in the room because there's an enemy by here. And I want him to be quite close to the edge. And uh, if he isn't, I have to kind of bait him there. That runs. Yeah, he's quite far away, so I'm going to have to bait him closer to the end. Let's see if I can draw him over. You can get him. Okay, I only have one of those, so I'm going to have to build the bridge now. Which is fine, it only adds like... 40 seconds on. Oh, I'm sorry, Moss. Here's the one. So I'm going to go get any 34 to build that bridge, just so I can get over, because unfortunately that one bomb rock missed. Oh, bomb rock. Bomb enemy thingamum. Detonator, I think it's called? We'll, we'll take that. <laughs> Detonator. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> what I'll do in the meantime is I'll start grabbing this part by here. Normally you grab this part last, but I can start it now whilst that bridge is building. Which means lining up this shot really carefully. 
and they should push that down. You're supposed to be up there and be able to pull it down, but obviously we can kind of cheat it a bit. Cheating in a speed run. I know, terrible. Is that going to be close enough to kill him? No, it just kind of mildly upset him. Setting off a bomb next to his home turns out disturbed him a little bit. Not that badly, but just kind of. Figure it. You didn't have to do that though, did you, Pigman? <laughs> They were just helping, being helpo. I don't think they were very helpful, I won't lie. I found, you know, just a nice little backup. This is one of the risks of the uh, newer route, is that if that bomb works, it's very quick, but when it doesn't work, you have to go and uh, build the bridge instead. Which is what you'd have to do beforehand, but... Obviously we used to do it a lot quicker. I don't know if I can cheat it. Unfortunately, they set some really weird, like, boundaries to this. To stop you from basically cheating the game and climb, trying to climb over. Which is kind of cheap. You know, you could very clearly make that jump. No. Okay. So just gonna wait for these uh, guys to come along and finish building the bridge for me. Be pushing the Pikmin along in order to try and get them to build the bridge quicker. <laughs> yeah, in Pikmin 3 you could do that, Pikmin 4 isn't quite so generous. As you can clearly see, because like you said, you should be able to make that jump. They really, they really tried very hard to force you to have to wait for that. They did a Tears of the Kingdom and go, we don't want people to break our game. We like our game, please don't break our game. I just let those Pikmin carry stuff over. Oh, don't do that. I need to make sure. The problem is I would have had enough material to build that bridge with just like part of that. Uh, but unfortunately, if I'd done that, I wouldn't have enough material for the next level, which causes its own host of problems as I found in practice beforehand. So that's the last bit of that area then. Didn't kill any Pikmin this time. That was... Nice of me. It's all right. I've informed the families of the other ones that you uh, you left to die. <laughs> How did he die? Uh, well, he got thrown into water. In in the original Pikmin, you actually do have to purposely drown some Pikmin. It's quicker to drown them than put them back in the onion. Which is a bit cruel. Uh, so the last area, Heroes Hideaway, gives you a snapshot of what happens at the beginning of the game. Um, so at the beginning of the game... Uh, you get a sneak peek of what's happened to Olimar, where he finds his radio, which is what gets sent out, which is why the rescue corps come in. And then you don't hear of Olimar, and it turns out he failed to escape the planet, um, which you find out through the story, which you should go do and play rather than hear it from me. Um, but the first part of this is what happens in the main game, where you have to like go collect your Pikmin because they're playing up. Uh, which you find out later is because an enemy is uh, controlling them. So I need to gather, balance, gathering as many Pikmin as I need to. But obviously the more Pikmin you gather, 
the quicker the fights are, but the slower the, you know, gathering of the Pikmin is because you have to go and find them all. So I'm going to do the bare minimum. So I can see there's Pikmin over there. I'm not going to get those. I'm going to come over here. I think one's running behind me, isn't he? No! Oh, it's so mean. I shouldn't laugh. Poor thing. Just trying his best. I was going to say that um, if you did want to pick up all the Pikmin, I believe that Pikmin 1 and 2 are available on Switch, and I believe that you can also, uh, there's a possibility of winning a Switch as well, uh, with uh, submitting donations. It is. It's the only Nintendo series I can think of where all the games are available on the Switch. And a friendly reminder that you're entered into that with a 50 minimum, uh, minimum dollar donation, and that's over the entirety of the event. It doesn't need to be 50 plus dollars for that one. It can be cumulative over the entire event, but 50 gets you entered in to win that Nintendo Switch. Okay, yep. So they're kind of spinning weirdly. They don't know what to do. And it's because this guy is messing with my Pikmin. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to use my, because uh, the other nice thing about the power-up spray is that it makes my charging a lot quicker, which is great because this boss requires a lot of charging to defeat because you want to destroy the, like, armor he has. that's done, so now I need to go and finish off. So, the rest of my parts are all here. I've cleared all the other areas. So I just need to get seven parts as quickly as possible. And they're all in one very specific place. They're all on the top half of the maps, which means it's very quick to get them, but also it can be a little bit... They try to put them as, in as a difficult a spot as possible. So I have to lower these bags out of the way. Eat these enemies. I mean, many yellows. I'm just gonna play a little safe and make sure I defeat all the enemies before they uh, take out any of my Pikmin. So there's two ways up to the top. Way A is that you, uh, I should have left some reds with him. I'd be right. Uh, way A is you have to use the, uh, that tunnel. Oh, that's the only way. I'm lying to you. I've lied to everyone. How could you, Jax? How could I? Yeah, so those guys get a bit stuck because they actually have no clue how to get up to the ship. And you have to use the detonator there to, uh... Can you not? Thank you. Thank you. Can we go bomb? No, I don't. Okay. I'm just gonna be old fashioned, wait. Not that the old fashioned way takes particularly long, but still. I need to go and get some Pikmin, I think. You almost know coming up. Yeah, stuck there. For some reason, a towel is just too difficult. You know how it is. Can't get past towels.
Wait for this gate to come down. Oh, I did miss some pickling. I was thinking that. I was like, my count is very low. It's because I missed some. I abandoned them. I'm a terrible parent. So, these green dudes by here are the bane of my existence. They are very annoying to deal with. So they do this very annoying spinny thing. Why are they... Are they still on it? I'm gonna go and uh, rescue these guys quickly. I need to gather some more Pikmin. Specifically, I'm going to trade in some of these blues for some yellows. Right now I have some yellows in the onion. Because the final boss of this area is everyone's favourite boss from Pikmin 2, and I don't know why. It's this horrible, horrible thing. Oh, there's some yellows, but hey. Why didn't you follow me up the first time? It's like, they're on the edge. They're like, no, I just, I just don't feel it, you know? I think because they know that you're going to go just leave them behind or kill them. It's like after today I'm just going to abandon you and they're like, I'm I'm not helping you. Set some more on that. Do some parkour. Uh, Man of Legs, which is a truly terrifying boss. I'm just gonna absolutely mash A and throw as many Pikmin as possible, is it? it Takes so long to set that off. What a way to go for those Pikmin. Uh, so that's the final part, and time's going to end as soon as that's collected and we go to a black screen. So we just got to wait for Moss to uh, wander his uh, little doggy butt over. His little walk. And time. GG. Not with that is complications. <laughs> a few, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> you soldiered on. You got it done, Jags. Jags, do you have any shout-outs that you'd like to make after that awesome run? Uh, honestly, shout-out to my friends for putting up for me talking about these speedruns constantly till I do them, and then stressing about it. And me sitting there going, why am I doing this to myself every single time when I stress myself out speedrunning? <laughs> So, very appreciated. I'm sure I'll be back again soon to do some more of the stressing and the speedrunning. Indeed. I just want to quickly add in just a massive thank you to everybody at the Fastest Furs team for putting on such a fantastic show. Good luck to the rest of the runners. Thank you to everyone who's donated so far. Keep it going. That's what I was going to say as well. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much, 